So now we have been included onto the virtual console for the Wii U, Mega Man 5, Mega Man 6, both for NES, Mega Man X3 from the Super Nintendo, and the Mega Man Battle Chip Challenge from the Game Boy Advance. Know nothing about that last one you said. Know nothing about <laughs> the Battle Chip Challenge. They're what? kind of RPGs. Okay. But Mega Man 5, 6, and X3 I know of. <clears throat> Your standard Mega Man game. Yeah. Um, so... I know that eventually they're gonna they're gonna have every Mega Man game on the Virtual Console. Seems like they'll probably have yes. like ninety percent of the Mega Man games. And they they're doing this, you know, all they're doing is porting all these old game all these older Mega Mans to the newer consoles because they're dumb and won't make a new one. Mm hmm Capcom. That's why you've been Capcom. liquidated, is that my Mario? I have not been keeping up with that news, but from what I remember hearing... Let's hope you have, been. They, uh... They are bankrupt, and I heard... <laughs> oh, <that> no! <laughs> Didn't see that coming! I heard that their company is either going to be sold as a whole, or that all of their IPs are going to be broke down and sold separate. Someone buy Mega... If you're listening, anybody, any bigwigs listening... You buy that part, Mega Man. I want Nintendo mm. to get Mega Man. Make. I want Nintendo to own him because Nintendo will, will do something with him. And not only will they make him a flagship again, Nintendo pays attention to their big wings. Like Mario, when there's a Mario game, you just buy it. You just go get it. Usual, Because you usually... Well, there's only been, what, a handful of bad Mario games. They're far and few between. Like, it is rare to find a Mario game where Baseball, you're like, this soccer, is ass. That's dumb. And even then, it's... They're still good, yeah. it's dumb. <laughs> but <laughs> Mario Golf is dumb, but it's good. Yeah, people that's are still sad. buying it. That's sad. We can sit there and say, it's a good game, it's just stupid. Although, I, I, but I, Mega Man... I had no issues with the baseball one, though. No. I like I I I played the soccer one. I I had some issues with that. I think the basketball one they had was. Eh. Well, <laughs> when you, you if you but when you come down when it comes down to it, Capcom sucks. Wow, and they really do. Resident Evil has sucked. Fucking, and the only way they're making money is by re-releasing Street Fighter, adding more characters and more stages. I don't know why you guys are dumb. You well, did that with Super Street Fighter. You did that with Street Fighter Two. They gotta take like twenty games to get to the next number. They do, and that's what they did with fucking Street Fighter Two. Especially, I think that game had the most. Oh man! And I'm like, why did you guys do that? Like, what was going through your mind when you did that? That is the most ignorant thing I've ever heard of. And you're letting big franchise, your big franchise, like. You let, you're let, like, especially Resident Evil, that's a big franchise you guys own. You let, that's gone to hell. Your Devil May Cry has gone to hell. All your shit's going to hell because you're stupid. You don't listen to what the people want. People don't want another fucking version of Street Fighter. We don't want shitty Resident Evil. And now I... I do, I do know that what they're doing with one of the Resident Evil games. I was a recent uh, reveal. I won't get into it, because that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is it's... Mega Man coming to the Virtual Console, and that's fine. That's fine if you want to port those older games onto the newer consoles. For people but, how to play. About, but the fact that you lost Mega, the guy who created Mega Man, and the fact that you lost him, and the fact that he's going to beat the shit out of you with his mighty number nine that he's been developing, that tells you a lot. And the fact that he ripped it, completely ripped it off from Mega Man. Like, the dude even looks like Mega Man. Yes. In fact, I've already seen pictures where they take, like, uh, Mega Man to Mega Man X to Mighty Number no. 9 in, like, sequence. Like, they're all firing down, like, a timeline. And he's changing just a few things so he doesn't get sued. Since he doesn't technically own Mega Man. He's like, that ain't Mega Man. And then there's the Mega, or the Mighty Number no. 9 series that's coming out. Yes, <laughs> like everybody. And then there's a game coming out on August 29th. It's from the guys who are making Mighty Number no. 9. And it looks like another Mega Man's S game. I might be wrong. I can't think of the name. 
I'll look. I need to. I'll look it up by you guys talk about Mega Man. I think it feels like when the only thing about these games coming out that don't do anything for me is first off I have like all of them. The only one I'm missing is if you want to count the Game Boy games, or for that matter, the incredibly rare Sega and Game Gear games. I don't have those. There's one Game Gear game. One? I think there's one. That's it. And it's... It's something else. Like, it's... It's awful. <laughs> it's not good, man. It's awful. I will be with you guys in a second when they figure out what this game is called. I looked it up earlier today, and I just didn't get the name of it. But it, 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 they said it was from the guy, the, from the makers of Mighty Number no. Nine, and so and, and it looked like another Mega Man esque game. So that tells you that Capcom sucks. <laughs> that this dude is just busting out games that are like Mega Man, what people have been wanting. Mega Man's been missing for a long time, and you guys had plans to do Mega Man games, and then you. There's cancel. been plans. There's always been plans for Mega Man games, but they cancel. Like they the, cancel. Like the Nintendo 3DS. There was supposed to be a Mega Man Legends game for it. Yep. And what'd you guys cancel it for? To make another Street Fighter? You fucking morons. <laughs> That's why. And if you and, and if everything is true, like like Bill said, we I, I we all we haven't been keeping up on what's going on with Capcom. But if you guys did get liquidated and you went bankrupt, that's your own damn fault because you're stupid. Why can't this happen to Square Enix since they don't like listening to the fans either? Square Enix doesn't like money. So Capcom probably doesn't like money either. No, not maybe that's something about becoming a big company. <laughs> you just don't like money. Maybe in order to become a big company, you have to like seriously hate money so you'll get money. Because I'm telling you, you got with especially with Square Enix. If you're you, you're not making good Final Fantasies anymore. I mean, you did ten on HD, and that was a good idea. That really was, because I like ten a lot. It was one of my favorite ones. But your fifteen better be good, otherwise people are not going to want to talk to you anytime. Everyone's like, hey "Man, new Final Fantasy." People are gonna be like, "I don't fucking care." Okay. What, you found it? Yes. Azor Striker Gunvolt is a side-scrolling action game by Mega Man creator Kenji Inafuma. Inafuni. Inafume. If I'm, if I'm butchering that, I apologize. For the Nintendo 3DS. It'll be on the eShop on August 29th, and since it's from the Mega Man creator, it, 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 it does look like a Mega Man game. I mean, the guy himself, I mean, he doesn't have a gun can uh, arm, but he does have a gun... Maybe it's a prequel to Mighty Number no. Nine. It could also be that, and this, and it's from Mega Man creator. See, so he's doing Mega Man esque games. They're just not Mega Man, and it looks neat from what I've seen. But Azure Azure Striker Gunvolt. That's what the game's called. August 29th. Play it and support him, and not Capcom. Because, I mean, there's only so many times you can buy Street Fighter. 